I was born without legs. I was found on the side of the road and I was just three months old. I love how I am, so I love the fact that I don't have legs. Obviously, I thought she was very attractive and very beautiful. You know when haters say things, it makes you more wanting to do things to take them off? That's me. I don't know where I was born, but I was found on the side of the road in Thailand. This is the area where I was found. So right behind the sign right there. And I was only three months old. This is the people who found me. They heard a baby crying and they went to go check it out with their flashlights and they found me. And I was wrapped in a blanket naked. I was crying and I had a lot of like debris and like mosquito bites. That's when they had to call the police department to take me to the uh, hospital. This is Mei Chan, my second mother, the nurse who raised me as her own. I was so popular in the hospital. These were all the nurses that took care of me. I was very, very fortunate to have loving people who I can call my second mom, my aunties, my uncles. They raised me as their own. They agreed to find an adoptive family for me. But not a lot of people want to adopt kids that have a disability. It's a lot of work, to be honest. It took my adopted mom time and class and teaching to understand how to take care of me. When I came to America, I would talk to myself in Thai in front of a dishwasher reflection of myself because I have nobody else to talk to. She was the one that encouraged me to do things on my own and be independent woman as I am today. Once I started speaking English, I started making more friends. I started skateboarding age nine being really free spirit and carefree and wild. So my daily life difference is using my hands. That's my difference instead of using legs. Since we don't know my birth parents, we don't know how I was born without legs, no medical reason. I just call myself no legs. Like, I just don't got legs. I'm a half woman. Like, I would, for Halloween, I was like a uh, Wonder Woman. And I was like half Wonder Woman. <laughs> and I love my life and where I am and this is what I know and like especially living here in America gives me more opportunities obviously. My first approach about modeling was when I was only 17 years old. I feel like there's a cool factor of me that really did impact me in the long run. Look, look, look what I'm doing now. I just did the New York Fashion Runway in 2021. The modeling did lead to acting. Oh yeah, here's me as a burnt zombie. Yeah, that's me in makeup for The Walking Dead. I was in Hawaii Five-0, I was Rosie Valera, the wounded veteran, and I was in Code Black playing someone who got hit by a car that ran into a market and I lost my legs and I died. And I want to do more movies because I feel like they haven't seen someone without legs that's an actress in a movie, especially being Asian, that's really an important role for me too. Not just that, but I'm freaking capable and skater. Today, I'm gonna go skateboarding with my boyfriend and just like enjoying this free day. Kanye's extreme sports side was definitely one of the many things that attracted me to her. Hey, it's 
skating. It's definitely the energy, the vibe. It's, it's fun, it's engaging, you want to be part of it. A lot of time, a lot of people look or stare at me because they're very fascinated about a woman with no legs skateboarding and they probably think that's freaking awesome. So online, it can be so funny sometimes. A lot of people online really judge people, but they don't really know their lifestyle or their story. If you have nothing good to say, then don't say it. Living life well is the best revenge. Doing you is the best revenge and ignoring the negative is the best revenge. So my message for other people with disabilities is see what you love doing, what makes you happy, and be out there and be active as much as you can. Just focusing on yourself. I love the way I am, so I love the fact that I don't have legs. I mean, it got me here.